Victor. So yeah, in, in this video, I'm just going to do a quick run through of who I think is equivalent to what character in Smash. So for starters, we have Shaggy, uh, pretty similar in my opinion uh, to Captain Falcon. Uh, general, generally speaking, I mean, he's got uh, the Falcon Kick, pretty good damage. Uh, I don't believe it did. Uh, if, it, if it ended, I'd, I don't know, I didn't get the memo. I thought it ended in like 2 hours and 27 minutes. So, we'll find out, I guess. Uh, yeah, so anyways, I think Shaggy, very much like Captain Falcon. Uh, he also kind of plays like a Shoryu character with the uh, with the Shoryu can the, the up B. Uh, the only the only real difference is he kind of uh, he can buff himself and he actually has a projectile. But if you're a Captain Falcon player or a player of who plays the uh, the Shoryu kind of Street Fighter characters, he's probably the person that you uh, character that you gravitate to the most in this. Uh, next up, we have uh, Rain Dog. Generally, uh, people who play someone like uh, Samus, any real projectile, heavy character, uh, generally just kind of a, a zoner. Yeah, um, that's really about it. I honestly don't know who Steven Universe is like. He's pretty. Uh, he's pretty unique. I'll, I'll say that much. Uh, Garnet as well, um, kind of like a, a tanky or maybe like a, a King K. Rule or something. I'm honestly not sure about that. Uh, if you guys have opinions on Steven Universe or Garnet, uh, feel free to fill it in. Just a little bit of insight so far into how I've been playing the game. Uh, Harley Quinn, um, pretty, pretty much like, uh, Let's see, who who would that be like in Smash? I mean, like, uh, if you played someone like a Mario or Luigi, pretty combo heavy, uh, kills off the top. Uh, lighter character, has uh, projectiles, but that's not really the, uh, the main part of her game. Uh, then we have Arya. Not exact, like, pretty mobile. Uh, we'll kill off the sides with uh, forward air. The only thing, of course, this game's pretty unique, so she has like the, uh, the stab mechanic and things like that, which make her unique. But I'd say if you're someone who played uh, Lucina or Marth or any of the sorties, she'd probably be the character for you in this game. Uh, Finn. Uh, Finn's kind of like a, like a hero or a shulk, even. You can uh, set up uh, your different buffs and um, by collecting gold and things like that. So probably like Shulk, how you can kind of change the modes and you can purchase different items. So that that would be probably the closest analogy I could really draw to that. Uh, Taz being, I mean, I I would essentially put Taz, Batman. And Superman in the in the same archetype, really, with Taz uh, having really a lot of kill power, uh, being pretty linear. So you'd probably play Taz a lot more like a heavy, like uh, DK or something to that effect. I, I guess uh, actually going back, Harley Quinn could maybe be also like a little bit like Joker, uh, particularly mobile, and uh, can net some pretty early kills. Um. Wonder Woman, yeah, I honestly don't really know who to com compare her to. She's got pretty good range. Uh, yeah, pretty pretty good range, but overall, like, she's... Uh, uh, actually, just give me a sec, I, I don't want to keep BSing this. Let me actually pull up the uh, Smash roster. So... Yeah, so I would I would say that Wonder Woman probably plays actually quite a bit like like Zero Suit, but just a little bit slower. 
Uh, she's got like that that long whip, um, some decent explosive options. The only thing is she's uh, much more defensive. So if you played someone potentially like Zero Suit, you'd probably maybe play Wonder Woman. Although I I don't think that's necessarily the best uh, comparison. Um, yeah, then uh, Jake, I would say pretty much like a Wario or Kirby. Very, very similar in that way, except uh, Jake has pretty deceivingly long range, which is, uh, w which obviously makes him distinct from the the two aforementioned characters there. But if you consider the uh, the bite, the ability to um, to use kind of the the house similar to Kirby's down B, pretty similar like that. Uh, yeah, the side the side B uh, where he turns into the horse, that's uh, pretty similar to Wario's bike. So perhaps if you played one of those two characters, you might you might enjoy uh, Jake. Yeah, like I said, Superman, uh, Batman, both kind of uh, combo heavy. You could kind of put them in the simple Mario um, Mario Captain Falcon uh, camp. I would say like. The, the stupid command grab is the only thing that really throws me off with Superman not knowing where to put him. So, like, if I were to compare that command grab, I would probably put him somewhere around, uh, like, Ganondorf or Captain Falcon in that way. Because he can command grab in the air and net stupid, super early kills. Uh, Batman, similar to that, except he does have uh, more of a projectile game. I wouldn't call him a particularly projectile heavy character, but uh, yeah, you could you could put him around the same camp. I honestly don't have too much of an opinion on him. Uh, Bugs Bunny, a little bit of a uh, little bit of everything. Just generally kind of like a very projectile gimmick heavy character. Maybe someone like uh, if you if you gravitate towards uh, zoning, you you'd perhaps play Rob or something like that, where you can kind of keep him off of you a pretty solid projectile like a pac-man almost where you can drop the hydrant and he drops the safe and then you can knock that towards towards them and then on top of that you have different projectiles that you can throw at them throughout the course of the game uh, the one i probably have the most solid opinion on obviously is tom and jerry so i'll speak a little bit more towards that uh as a rule i think Tom and Jerry plays pretty similar to a hybrid of three different characters, uh, the first of which is probably Isabel. And uh, with, with that, I'm going to change the volume quick, so ignore. Yeah, so Tom and Jerry plays pretty similar to Isabel. Uh, with a lot of trap setups, you know, Isabel or Villager, really. Um, you can plant that mine in the ground, very similar to the gyroid that you'll see Isabel plant to get the fishing rod for netting pretty early kills off the top. Uh, you have um, the slingshot, which is like kind of like the tennis ball, so pretty similar in that way. Um, the, the disjoint on the up air and down air strong fast but not exactly the uh, biggest kill option from Isabel and I think Tom and Jerry actually has a pretty viable up air in this game uh, next you'll probably see that he's pretty similar to uh, Rosalina and Luma where it actually matters how you position uh, Tom and Jerry relative to one another that way you can really position around your opponents and they can both do attacks uh, he can pop his uh, champagne bottle at the same time he can also shoot back to you uh, the, t the tennis balls and uh, rockets that you throw at them so it actually kind of matters where you position them relative to one another and of course I mean there's uh, the fact that you're balancing two characters that are kind of independent of one another uh, would give him that kind of Ice Climbers feel, although I'd still think Rosalina and Luma are probably a better comparison than having uh, than, than calling them the Ice Climbers. Uh, but yeah, I think Isabel and Tom and Jerry, very, very similar to one another, and if you play Isabel or Villager in Smash, you'd probably really uh, take towards 
Tom and Jerry. Uh, Tom and Jerry are just more mobile than Villager or Isabella are in Smash. And then with Velma, I honestly have absolutely no idea. Velma is such a distinct character. I mean, I if I had to compare her to someone, I'd probably compare her to Steve just because of the really wide-ranging uh, mechanics. You're kind of collecting things throughout the course of the game. Uh, like you're collecting evidence as Velma, whereas if you're collecting uh, materials and crafting materials as Steve, that's, that's kind of a big aspect of the game. Oh, you have that police cart thing that can take someone off the edge, similar to minecart. Uh, that's really about the only comparisons I can draw with uh, with Velma. So, on that note, I think that would essentially conclude everything uh, that I can draw as a comparison between this game and Smash. And of course, if uh, you agree or disagree, um, I'm definitely not offended by any disagreements uh, you might have. So. Let me know in the comments below. Alright, now we'll actually uh, hop back into some games.